Hello everyone, this is Ifeinwa. Welcome to Finding Africa, to explore and share the beauty of Africa, starting with folk stories from Southern Nigeria. The election of the king bird, the black and white fishing eagle. Old town Calabar once had a king called Essia who, like most of the Calabar kings in the olden days, was rich and powerful. But although he was so wealthy, he did not possess many slaves. He therefore used to call upon the animals and birds to help his people with their work. In order to get the work done quickly and well, he determined to appoint head chiefs of all the different species. The elephant he appointed king of the beast of the forest, and the hippopotamus king of the water animals, until at last it came to the turn of the birds to have their king elected. Essia thought for some time which would be the best way to make a good choice, but could not make up his mind as there were so many different birds who all considered they had claims. There was the hawk with his swift flight, and of hawks, there were several species. There were the herons to be considered, and the big spore-winged geese, the hornbill or toucan tribe, and the game birds such as guinea fowl, the partridge, and the bustards. Then again, of course, there were all the big crane tribe who walked about the sand banks in the dry season, but who disappeared when the river rose and the big black and white fishing eagles. When the king thought of the plover tribe, the sea birds, including the pelicans, the doves, and the numerous shy birds who live in the forest, all of whom sent in claims, he got so confused that he decided to have a trial by ordeal of combat and sent word round the whole country for all the birds to meet the next day and fight it out between themselves, and that the winner should be known as the king bird ever afterwards. The following morning, many thousands of birds came, and there was much screeching and flapping of wings. The hawk tribe soon drove all the small birds away and harassed the big wader so much that they very shortly disappeared, followed by the geese, who made much noise and winged away in a straight line, as if they were playing, follow my leader. The big forest birds who liked to lead a secluded life very soon got tired of all the noise and bustle, and after a few croaks and other weird noises, went home. The game birds had no chance and hid in the bush, so that very soon the only birds left were the hawks and the big black and white fishing eagle who was perched on a tree calmly watching everything. The scavenger hawks were too gorged and lazy to take much interest in the proceedings and were quietly ignored by the fighting tribe, who were very busy circling and swooping on one another, with much whistling going on. Higher and higher they went, until they disappeared out of sight. Then a few would return to earth, some of them badly torn and with many feathers missing. At last, the fishing eagle said, When you have quite finished with this foolishness, please tell me. And if any of you fancy yourselves at all, come to me, and I will settle your chances of being elected head chief once and for all. But when they saw his terrible beak and cruel claws, Knowing his great strength and ferocity, they stopped fighting between themselves and acknowledged the fishing eagle to be their master. Essia then declared that Ichuen, which was the name of the fishing eagle, was the head chief of all the birds and should thenceforward be known as the king bird. From that time to the present day, whenever the young men of the country go to fight, they always wear three of the long black and white feathers of the king bed in their hair, one on each side and one in the middle, as they are believed to impart much courage and skill to the wearer, 
And if a young man is not possessed of any of these feathers when he goes out to fight, he is looked upon as a very small boy indeed. Moral A good leader is confident, remains calm, and doesn't participate in foolish fights to prove their power. Thank you for listening. If you enjoyed the story, hit the subscribe button. If you didn't enjoy the story, still hit the subscribe button because you may like the next one. Until next time, enjoy life. Finding Africa.